The hijacker's passport was found blocks from the World Trade Center crash site, if you can believe that. Officials found a passport belonging to one of the terrorists. That was apparently found a couple of blocks away because when uh, one of the planes, or the first plane, slammed into the uh, tower, you could see it on the video, in fact, debris flew out the other end. Uh, there's a belief that some of the cockpit just kept on going and with that velocity went right through the building. Uh, sources here on the ground have told me that they even found uh, some body parts uh, in the cockpit area. Uh, they believe that it is the ter one of the terrorist bodies from the cockpit because the clothing did not, did not match uh, clothing of airline uh, pilots. Not far from here, a passerby found the passport of one of the hijackers. In the rubble outside the World Trade Center towers, we are told rescue workers have recovered a passport and the debris. It belonged to one of the dead hijackers. You have two 110-story office buildings. You don't find a desk. You don't find a chair. You don't find a telephone, a computer. The biggest piece of a telephone I found was half of the keypad, and it was about this big. The building collapsed to dust. It was revealed that the uh, passport, stand by and listen to this, the passport of one of the suspected hijackers on that plane that flew into the towers was found blocks away from the World Trade Center crash site. Somehow the passport survived. Nobody else did, unfortunately. Also Saturday at a news conference, it was revealed that investigators, uh, searchers, have found something of interest, the passport of one of the suspected hijackers. That passport somehow survived floating down from above. It was found some distance from the World Trade Center crash site itself. A couple of blocks away from the World Trade Center site, apparently where that passport was found, uh, the FBI announcing that it has found the passport of one of the hijackers who, were on, who was on board one of those two planes that hit the Twin Towers. The body of a, uh, of a man believed to be one of the terrorists was found in uh, the cockpit ruins. That is because we're told uh, he was dressed not in pilot's clothes, was not in a uh, uniform of a commercial pilot, but some other clothes, so it could be a body of one of the terrorists. Also, some chilling news, a body uh, of a flight attendant also, uh, I'm told, has apparently been recovered. Uh, the flight attendant's hands were bound in the back by a wire. Uh, that would uh, then, of course, seem to indicate that the hijackers bound by wire, the flight attendants uh, with their hands behind their backs, which could provide one reason why uh, they were uh, not able or did not uh, put up a fight and were uh, basically relegated to one part of the plane. Items found since the attack include a passport apparently belonging to one hijacker. There is new evidence of the fear on board the aircraft. Sources close to the investigation now say the remains of a second person have been found with their hands tied. Another pair of hands bound together were found earlier. Uh, in fact, the passport for one of the hijackers was found some three or four blocks away. If you look at this, you wouldn't believe you could find anything. The FBI tells NBC News it was some distance from ground zero that a civilian found a passport lying on the street belonging to one of the suspected hijackers.